Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Wilson versus McKnight. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Wilson, you admit to an affair with a married man, and now you are furious that he's denying your one-year-old daughter, Shakira. You say your relationship with Mr. McKnight may have been a secret, but your daughter isn't. And once you prove he's the father, you want him to leave his wife and go home with you. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. McKnight, you are in court today with your wife, and you testify you fell victim to temptation, but you weren't the only man. And you are 100% certain you are not Shakira's biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. So, Ms. Wilson, explain why today's results are so important to you. Because my daughter is not a secret, and uh, she needs to know her other siblings, and um, I need to know, like, where we stand. Oh, so you say you're confused. You don't yes. even know where you stand with Mr. McKnight? Yes. Well, Mr. McKnight's standing with his wife, so... Oh. How did you even start sleeping with a married man? How did this start? Okay, well, um, I was coming in to cash my check, and I seen a wallet on the floor, and I picked the wallet up, and I seen his ID, and it said Ramon McKnight, and I said, I seen him at the job. So when I seen him at the job, I handed him his wallet. And so after that, I seen him numerous times, and then he just asked me for my number. Oh, so it started off as a good Samaritan. Yes. And once that happened, it started communication. Yes. And then at some point, he actually said, here's my number. Yes. So how does it turn into a sexual relationship from there? What happens? So he called me and he was like, I wanted to see you. And I said, okay. This was um, at the work. And he was like, we're going to get a room. <laughs> so... Wait, so he just calls you and says, I want to see you and we're going to get a room. Yeah, yeah, we was communicating before, you know. We was communicating, getting to know each other. Okay. And then it leads to let's get Let's a get a room. Yes. And did he say to you, I'm married? Um, he was keep telling me, like, he was tired of his wife. Um... I never said that. Yes, yes, Your Honor, he did. He told me he was tired of her. She so he cook. told you he was married, but he yes. said, I'm tired of my wife. Yes. Your mm -hmm. Honor. Yes. <clears throat> Your Honor, may yes. I say something, please? That's what they all say. Your Honor. Yes. That's what he told me. He Your thought Honor. he was tired of her. She don't cook. Um, all she do is be home, watch the kids. She's not trying to work. She's not trying to help me provide with these children. Um, so, so he told you a series of frustrations he was having with his wife, but that he had a wife nonetheless. Yes. But yes, you Your still Honor. decided to go to the room? Yes, Your Honor. Why? Because at that time, you know, I was going through a lot. My mom had passed. So it's like, you know, you need that type of... You were looking for comfort. Yes. And, and companionship. There. Yes. All right. Excuse me, Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. May ma I say something, please? Yes. Um, what she just... What she just said in, in here in court, that's not what she told me um, on the phone because she was the one who initiated contact. Oh. When Miss uh, Wilson contacted me, she said that... She hurt my husband and um, her and some other coworkers were all pretty much powwowing and uh, powwowing. Pow, as in like hanging out. There was nothing sexual that occurred. Men, Raymond was having sex every day. Every day we get off of work, he was coming to have sex with me. Everywhere at your house, at my house, at a room, in her, in her, her car, the car he bought her. That she got repo because she couldn't pay the note on it. And then on the truck he got that she got now, we had multiple sex in that truck too as well. So let's come on, boo-boo. Let's not get it twisted. Your man be sleeping with me every night. And when he lying <laughs> to you, calling you, saying he's doing overtime, he's with me. That didn't happen. In my panties. So wait, that's, is that something you proud of? No, I'm just... Uh, no, it's not that I'm your proud Honor. of. I'm just, I'm just letting Honor. her know the truth. These um, are the facts. See, Your Honor, see, my, my position is this, Your Honor. <laughs> Yes, I am legally married to my husband, and that's why I'm standing by him right now. But as a woman of integrity, I don't have to go back and forth with Ms. Wilson. I don't have to try to degrade her. I felt like some adult in, the, in this position needed to be responsible <laughs> because Ms. Wilson, Ms. Wilson nor my husband was doing anything to find this out. You're right. And, and you're... I'm still speaking, ma'am. Thank you. And... 
I have children with my husband. If her daughter is, in fact, my husband's daughter, they need to know their siblings. I am not an immature woman. I don't feel the need to try and keep a man away from his child. I eliminated myself from the equation so that if he is the father, he can step up and take care of his responsibilities. So there's... So, okay, there's you're right. so hold on, no hold on, hold on. Because I, I have heard a lot of testimony from both of the women. But, Mr. McKnight... Yes, Your Honor. Yes. You're not doing a lot of talking. Um, but you are the common denominator that runs through this whole equation. How did you okay. get end up in a place as a married man at your job, supposed to be minding the business that pays you... <laughs> yes, ma'am. ...that you end up trying to sleep with Miss Wilson? If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. It started, as she said, she did find my wallet, but it was a co-worker that used to work with us. And he was telling me, like, man, you should try to get, you should try to get her. I was like, no, ma'am. You're on, that's the lie. You know, but then he was like, you could go ahead and, and That's get the her. lie. And this same co-worker, you know, me and him would sleep with her at the same time. Me and him used to... Like me and him used to, me and him used to converse before we left work to find out who was going over there. That's a lie. Oh, that's just about nasty. That's a very, lie, Your Honor. That's a lie, Your Honor. That's a lie. Your Honor. That's that's a lie. So you're testifying in this courtroom that there was a coworker who told you that you should go try to sleep with Miss Wilson. Yes, Your Honor. But that same coworker was sleeping with her too. Yes, Your Honor. Why would he want you to sleep with the same woman he's sleeping with? I... I don't know, but a lot of... Is that just how nasty you men out here acting? It... Is it, Jerome? <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. You're on it. Yes, Your Honor, sometimes. No, really. Is this, is this, Some, is this something new? No, Me. not in Detroit. <laughs> not in Detroit, You're no. on it. You said not where? Not in Detroit, no. Oh, no, hold on. No, I'm from with, Detroit. with you. No, hold on. <laughs> Let's not bring Detroit in it, because I'm from Detroit. Me too. And it's plenty <laughs> of hard-working men that know how to take their butt home after they get off Thank work. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Some you know, of y'all. You're gosh. married. How, how do you get from work to in the bed with Miss Wilson? How do you let yourself think that's okay? I, I don't know. I just was tempted. Oh. I was just tempted. How were you tempted? <laughs> what was she doing? Keep it real. It was just real easy for me to be with Miss Wilson. No, I wasn't. Excuse me, Your Honor. Can I please talk, Your Honor? You're saying trying to say that Miss Wilson was promiscuous? Yes, Your Honor. No, no. Your Honor, can I please speak? So what happened? Your Honor, like I said, when I found his wallet, he was very flirtatious. He was by me, um... Skittles, pops, leaving there for me. Where did you all go to have sex? <laughs> we were ho he, he paid for it. Hotels, my house, his car. He got her that she got repo in the truck. Oh. I never, I never been with her in my truck. Your Honor, yes. Your Honor. May so, I say something? Yes, a lot of times. Yes, Miss McKnight. She knew that he was a married man, right. and even if he pursued her, even if he bought her all the Skittles in the world. <laughs> No woman's integrity should allow them to just sleep with a married man or be with him or continue on with him or continue on with him knowing that he has a family at home, even if he actively pursued her. I really want you to testify as to how you even found out. Uh, well, Your Honor, initially I found out <laughs> because um, Miss, Miss Wilson did, in fact, call me on Messenger about 20 times and she continued to leave messages. I had no idea what it was about. I thought that a coworker was trying to reach out to me. Maybe something had happened to him at work. So I, uh, I answered. She told me, I just want you to know because uh, Ray, because that's what some of his coworkers call him, is not telling you that we're together and we're sleeping together. And basically, she insinuated that he was leaving me for her. When I spoke with him later on, he said that, that the reason why... Because he said that she had told him in advance she was going to tell me. And the reason why... Uh, she was upset because he, she had gave him an ultimatum and he told him that he was not leaving his family no, for her. So she was mad that's the lie. and decided to contact me. That's the lie. So why did you decide, I'm going to call his wife? So he's telling the whole plant that me and him had sex. So I said, I'm going to call your wife. And so that's what I did. 
He told the whole plan that we had sex, and guys was like, oh, well, Ram Ramon said that it was good. He, you telling them about, you know, our sexual, you know, relationship, that's, that's, that's making me look, I don't, that's... But my point is this. You realized he was married, Multiple and you realized you were the mistress. You at the plant. So, at the point, at that point, the whole plant knowing... It, 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 how is that at all Your relevant Honor, to him telling his wife? I was never a mistress wife. at the job. He was telling everybody we was together. I'm not no mistress. Oh, at so, the job, yes. he was telling people that y'all were a couple. A couple. Yes. No, but, I didn't. But <laughs> how was that no, true I didn't. if you were sleeping with I'm his a, friend, too? I'm a, I'm a whole married man. Okay, Your that, Honor, that Your friend, Honor. I Your slept Honor. with his friend way before... Way before I even met, met Ramon. We was, we was sleeping with her at the same time. No, no, that's a lie. I slept with him way before I even All met right. Ramon. All right, so after you decide <laughs> you gonna tell the wife, do you break it off with Mr. McKnight once he says he's clearly not leaving his wife? Yeah, we stopped communicating. So, Mr. McKnight? Yes, Your Honor. Do you try to then work on your marriage? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> so, how? <laughs> that's a lie. I did. We have... That's that, a lie. Um, <laughs> me and her, we did go to... Uh, me and my wife, we went to counseling through our pastor... And uh, we was, you know, we was working on it. But clearly, that didn't work because Thank you're you. here. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. What happens? He was coming to the, my department, always no. helping me, always flirting with me, always talking to me. I said, Ramon, look, it is what it is. I'm done with you. He like, I'm gonna get you back. So one I day, I was that. bending over to go put the, 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 the boxes on the pallet, and Ramon came behind me and bumped his on me. He was like, I'm gonna get you back. That never happened. Yes, Your Honor, it have happened. That yes, never happened. Yes, it was, Your Honor. That yes. never happened. So, how did that get... How did that get you back? Because if you were done with him... Because I... Because... Let's get this clear. Oh. He's working with a 10-inch. So, that's what got me... It, it, it brought back memories when he did that, and I'm like, well, wow. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you're saying that Mr. McKnight is well endowed? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. And you couldn't stay away? No. No, Your Honor. No. And then what happened? As though we started communicating, and then we started having sex every night. And then this is no, when he's wrecking me off every week for 50. No, we didn't. No, I didn't. Every, every, every night, he came to see me, and on his payday was Tuesday, because to get a car, he was paying me $450 every week. No, I was not, Your Honor. There's, yeah, yeah, he does. There's no way that that could possibly be true. And I know his true. amount of money that no, he, he was he playing, brings home. He was lying There's to no her. way that he could have afforded... He li to, I have, okay, unless he was, Honor, actually, I have unless he was working up. three jobs. I have his yes, checks Yes, she, she does have his checks He was supposed to give me the apartment. He was paying me $450 yeah. every week. Boo -boo. No, Let's get it right. Yes, she was. No, no, no. Let me see that evidence, Miss Wilson. Yes, he was. It's in my possession, in my purse, boo-boo. You say Mr. McKnight was giving you $450 yes. a yes. week? Yes. Look at the check stubs. You will see. Yeah, he was paying me. Look at the check stubs. Yeah, he was paying you me for a every week. How he, was lying. He... he was lying to you, boo-boo, how much he was giving you, but it's, he was giving me $450 every week. That's where you giving her $450 yes, a week? Right, no, you aren't. It was oh, not. Oh, my God. Oh, my mama grave. You sent up to lying. It was not no $450. Ramon, Ramon, you lying? It was not. Were you, you giving lying? her money? Yes, he yes, was, Your Honor. Because, Why? Because, um... It was like she was blackmailing me. She was oh, telling me, I need, I need money, because if I don't get the money, I'm going to tell your wife lies. that you got this baby. And no, I'm going to oh, tell no. this, I'm going to tell that. When I, Your Honor, when I ended up pregnant, I called Ram Ramon. He pulled up, I said, look, Ramon, I'm, I'm pregnant. And I said... I guess he had, like, he didn't believe me, so I took the pregnancy test in front of his face. He like, oh, you pregnant? I said, yeah. Ray McKnight, he went to the um, ultrasounds with me. He like, I got to schedule in the morning time because I don't want my wife to know. I said, Oh, you were going to ultrasound yes, appointment? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. He was going to the ultrasounds with you, I went to one appointment with He said, I want to know what we have, I never said what we have. Hold on. Yes. Hold on. Yes. Hold on. Ms. McKnight, I want you to yes, tell the court, how do you find out about the pregnancy? Well, I'm glad you asked, Your Honor. I received, like, about 20 phone calls back to back on Messenger. When I looked down and saw the name that it was Miss Wilson, I automatically knew, okay, here we go again. And she was like, I just want you to know that, uh, you know, Ramon sleeping with me, he's gonna be with me. He's, he gave me his check stuff so that we can get a place together. And I have a baby that I had in April. You know, she was messaging me constantly, trying to harass me. I have the evidence here. What kind here. of message was she She was saying? harassing me. I'm like, the, the audacity for you to be contacting me about my husband. I couldn't believe it. I'm like... Okay, and I'm I was, like... Did you bring evidence husband. of those messages? Yes, but I did, Your Honor. But they're right you're here. looking at me. Can I read Hold on, Miss Wilson. 
And she's Jerome, very adamant let me that see she those wants messages. To, she's very adamant that she wants a relationship with my husband. She wants to be with him. And she made it clear at the end of these messages. Whoa. She said, you lying blank. Mm -hmm. You just mad he blanked this good blank. Blank, you ain't stopping blank. And then you respond, Miss <laughs> McKnight, and say, girl, please stop. You're embarrassing yourself. That's not my man, baby girl. That's my husband. 